Chris makes a really good cup of coffee. Oh, he's a nice guy, good writer. Okay, Barrel Classic. <laughs> Barrel Classic, it's actually not quite as cold as we were all suggesting. I brought pretty much everything I owned. I'm pretty much wearing everything I owned. But it's not that cold. Gonna ride down into town, see what's going on. Barrel! On 6.30 rollout, we're, we're a little bit late. Also, you're gonna be in the hands of someone else. Today. <laughs> Try this again. We're down here, Barrel Classic Main Street. I think this is called Bong Bong Street or something along those lines. I think we're looking at about 160k. I think there's like 3,000 people here, which is fantastic. There's zero people here right now. Morning. Morning. Okay, so I'm hoping to get you in the hands of Jimmy Naylor today. However, I can't find Jimmy. Hi, Chris. Hi, See you. Hi, Nice see you. Now, thanks. second climb it's just me I think I'll wait though 50k to go Sorry. 
I was predicting a 40 kilometer average for you guys. Uh, from the, all information, it was well and truly above that for the first hour. As soon as you leave this park, there's a howling headwind yeah. both directions. It was a hurricane, it was wasn't it? All the people on the sides of the road, you got the guys coming the other way. Literally, your hand is just going up and down, waving to everyone to go past. The only problem was every third person said, Go Toby! Go Toby! <laughs> the local, local lad, lad Toby, to, to the first ride right right home, home in the 160 k. Chris Miller. See you Tuesday. Mate, this is, that is domestic work right there. Yes. So we just did the Barrel Classic. That was fun. Ah, uh, good. Oh my God, my legs are f***ed. Oh yeah, I have to talk when you're home. I can't do this now. It was an awesome event, really well organised and the, the proposed changes to the course for next year, get on it, get on it for next year people, it is, it is going to be mint. Can we, get, can we get a hair update? Just quickly. It hasn't really changed. Oh Jesus. Yeah, last night's Bo's Bowl, what was it Bo? It was a... a blue cheese burgers. We were going to run the kangaroo burgers but Barrel was all out of that, obviously being a lean meat in a cycling event. Toby, what did you think of your first blue cheese experience? Uh, I think it's pretty good. I'll do it again. <laughs> I, would, I would do want to do kangaroo. But... Do you want to be on the vlog? No, I think so. Okay, so you were not in the hands of Jimmy Naylor today. Jimmy Naylor was a lazy... Was Jimmy even there today? Yeah. Oh, he was there, was he? Okay, Jimmy, you're not lazy. You were there. I was going to give the camera to Jimmy. I didn't end up giving it to him. I gave it to... Two guys from uh, Bicycle Magazine who were in the lead car and they just like shot heaps of footage. So I haven't looked at it yet, but I reckon we might get some good stuff from it. Thank you very much for that. It makes a massive difference to what we can do for these sort of stuff. So that was very helpful. Yeah, while, while Bus is um, putting his slop trek up on the uh, up on the roof, points of contention, and you can. Jump in where you feel, feel free here, Angus. Race teams riding fondos. So the way I look at it is like from the t our perspective, it is really cool to come and do an event that has a totally different like group of people here. And I don't know if this is just me like thinking stupidly, but I kind of get the feeling that leisure cyclist gets a little bit out of riding with some of the race team guys. Like Toby rode solid enough for the first kind of 30 40 minutes they were enjoying the fact that you know they're in this bike event with with guys who are, who are doing that i don't know what i'm trying to say here i'm trying to say that i reckon we get something out of it and the organizers get something out of it and the leisure cyclists get something out of it maybe i don't know so the other thing we're going to talk about we'll talk about down the cafe it's about the race go that's not race ride the wider the wider one, one. Alright, we've got that. Now we've got Chris's car. Like the coffee would be brought from like a single place instead of like infusing it with like another coffee. With a single origin you can infuse other things into it like um, there's like chocolates, single O's and ones with fruit like cranberry and that sort of stuff in it. You can definitely tell differences between single origin coffees because yeah. like some are like sort of bitter but they're nice, they're a smooth bitterness and then yeah. there's others just uh, like super rich and like just a full hit. We might just skip the barrel classic vlog today and it's just gonna be coffee chat because that's way more interesting. <coughs> oh look at Oh, oh that's it. Hi, how you going? We are currently walking through an antiques store. We are officially 84. I really don't know what we're doing. I think we'll talk when we get home. What do you reckon? Yeah, let's do that. Ready, steady. Quick, let's do a quick course chat. The girls have just gone down to the park. I promised a quick chat about the course. Well, the event as such. Look, as I kind of mentioned to you in the lead up to this, I don't know a huge amount about it. A really nice professionally run event 
looked great, marshaled well. So here's the thing with these events. They have to look the business. Okay, from, from the cyclist's perspective, you want it to look legit. And this looked legit. And by that, I mean, you know, the cars, the signs. Like at one point, there was a helicopter above it. You want to feel like this is a special day. You want to kind of get that sense of an event. You can clearly tell the guys who are putting it on know what looks good. So from that perspective, 10 out of 10, 50 chilies, whatever you want to call it. So event is good. Other thing, course. Okay. It isn't the best and most beautiful route in the Southern Highlands. It's not. The nature of trying to put an event on in New South Wales, we all know at this stage that that kind of means you have to pick and choose what you can get away with. And it does mean bits about and backs and that kind of stuff. So whilst the kind of Kangaloon part is awesome, even the Wombie and Caves bit, which was sort of a bit of a reverse of what we do in the state championships race. Yeah, look, the run out to, what's it called? Like Bargo or something? Meh, you know, it is what it is. That's it. Had a good chat to James Yaffer after the ride. And like you get, they are in this for the long haul and they're clearly trying to show to the people in the area that this is an event that can be really, really beneficial. So whilst it was still well worthwhile from a riding perspective, this time I've got the feeling that this is only gonna get better as it goes along. This is just gonna be the longest vlog. Like, warning, I had no footage. I think after this, there's gonna be so much footage. Sorry, it's gonna be long. Hit some wet feet, guys. <laughs> We're gonna run baths. See you later in the week. Future reference, we don't do choreographed shit.